Oh, there's, there it is. How oh, the hell? So that's there. There's a thing to the other side of it. I'm guessing an entrance. Eh, what do you know? Oh god. Ooh. Oh god. There we go. What have we got? Shield of Mind's Eye. Alright, sure. Uh, shields. Get rid of this crappy one. Oh, I'll be able to just float straight over. Woo! And there it is. Just want to double check? Yep, that's all the chests. Although my sensor would have would have been going off if it wasn't all of them. Well, there we go. That was pretty cool. Right. So there's Meadow's emblem. It's going to tell me about collect three emblems, and then you can do all this. Oh, pardon me. Two more remain. Hmm. Right, so there's one where I have to go through the rings, and then the other one's to do with Dinral, I think. Yeah. That one's going to be the hardest one to do, I think. Oh man, it's windy here. Either way, the next one is around here. I think. Yeah, it is. Alright, cool. Mm. Actually, wait, if this one's to do with... Oh... Hang on, I think I have an idea as to what this wants me to do. Yeah, I'm in the wrong place. I have a feeling that it wants me to shield surf. Well, that sounds like that's going to be a, a fun time. Although, then again, it's the Wind Blight, which was the easiest of them all. Only downside is you can't do charge attacks. I would assume they probably give you a weapon as well, it just might be a shitty one. Like a Feathered Edge, or something. Then again, Urbosa didn't give you a bow, so... You never know. Here we go. Let's do this! This is gonna suck! Although I do like Shield Seven. Don't fucking... Mm. Goddamn wildlife. Oh! Ho ho! That's cool. Oh god. Bloody hell. I don't like the Liz Alphos. Yeah, they're gonna be the things that screw me over. I guarantee it. Oh boy. Jesus. More cool, Safina. How much further? Oh my god, still further. Do 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 do! And even further. Yeah, no, that's why I was like, you could be right with it only being a bow. Because her bosa didn't have a bow, she only had a weapon. Melee weapon. Yeah! That was cool. Right, so now it unlocks the shrine, which was in this area. There we are. Kia Toza. There we go. 
mean, it's going to suck if it doesn't give you access to a melee weapon, because I use that to, you know, set off Erbos' fury, but, oh well, we'll find out. Soon enough, we only have one more shrine to do. Master the Orb. Oh, uh, okay. Ooh, there's a chest up there. I want... Oh. Hang on. I won't be able to do that. Or maybe I will. Ha! Ah, I can indeed. Woohoo! So that's chest. Ah, oh, there we go. I can hear a like, noise. I mean, that's explained in the in the DLC. Yeah, these are the trials they went through. Oh, right, I have to do this. A nice little push. It's not going to make it anyway, so I don't know why I did that. Ah! Uh. What the hell does this do? Ah, uh, okay. Oh. Okay. Wet. <laughs> God, it takes its time. I don't really think that's through. Hang on. Oh, I didn't even notice there was that there. Whoops. Okay. Yeah. He really did. I want this to just so it, it like falls onto it. Uh. Uh. That should be enough. And then when it lands there, I can just do. Whoa. Wait, what happened? Oh, it probably fell down behind it. Okay. Oh boy. Timing, 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 timing. Ah! It's so slow. Yeah! I did it! Woo! Oh wow, that was that was really simple. That was cool. I enjoyed that. Right, so the last one is to do with Dinral. Okay. I don't remember Dinral ever going through the canyon though, that's the thing. I know it flies by the stable. That's near the Great Fairy in the Tamantha Frontier, but... I don't remember it ever fly- oh yeah, I suppose it could. No, maybe not. Hmm. I mean, it must do if, if it's part of one of these shrines. One remains. Alright. Right. And there's that. Right, the final one is this canyon. This canyon, actually. Tanagar Canyon.
Yeah, more than likely. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, for the DLC, they probably programmed it so it would appear in a different place. Either that or it does actually appear in this place. And I just never noticed. Oh god, where's the canyon? Shite. It's there. Keeping an eye out. Oh, it's only... It's, <laughs> it's, it's not even night time. I don't even know what time it'd appear. God, it's weird just watching it all, like the weather change. It was snowy, now it's sunny! Then again, how far away is this from... Oh no, this is the same canyon. Oh, he does fly through it. I'm just fucking stupid. Wait, he flies through it in, in the evening? Because he makes it by the stable at like 6am. I didn't realise they were the same part. Or they were part of the same thing. Oh. Oh, interesting. Looking around for a plume of smoke. Are you serious? I don't even have time for you, so... Get fucked. Yeah, uh, get fucked. Oh, really? Let's just deal with this real quick. There we go. Alright, cool. Um, <laughs> no more distractions. Oh, there he is. Well, shit. Huh. All I have to do is shoot the horn, I think. Shoot. Fuck no. Shoot the flame dragon's horn. Okay. Easy enough. As soon as it gets close. boo ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo boo I would fly towards it, but I'd probably end up dropping far too low. I wonder if it matters where you shoot it. Like, is it just, I have to just shoot the flame dragon's horn or what? No, it should be fine. Oh, fuck. Updraft, updraft, updraft. Please, thank you. Oh, there we go. Oh man, that's cool. I need to be careful and make sure I actually hit the horn. There it is. I thought I destroyed it then. I was like, whoa. That's interesting. Oh, they should have made that. Oh, that wouldn't have worked with Ravali. If only there were four dragons in the game, they could have tied something like that to each of the champions. Then again, for Ravali, this one actually makes sense. Considering he's like. Like, flying is his thing. I actually get a shot of his horn, too. I have no idea where it's landed. Uh, really far down. Where the hell's the shrine? Oh, um... Um... Uh, um... Okay. Dragon can go through things. Right. Nice to know. Right, I can't find the shrine for some reason. It's... Oh, right, that's why. God, it's not down here, it's... There. Oh, that's Dinral's horn, though. Sure. Woo! Oh, there's a Korok here, too. That's one I've already gotten, actually. I don't even need Dinral's horn, I don't know why I did this. Whatever. I guess I should probably put on my climber's gear. So that I don't have to worry about falling. Yeah, something tells me that was um, not supposed to happen. Just got a... Uh, just a feeling. Oh boy. Wait, do I have... I really wish you could just eat stuff that would recover your stamina. 
Oh god. <laughs> slowly. I mean, slowly it's still taking away my stamina. Where the hell's that shrine? I don't see it. God damn. Oh, do I dare? This is not gonna work. You fucking asshole! No! Oh, now I'm gonna die. Crap. Oh, no, there we go. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Oh, oh fuck. Oof. Well, I'm gonna die. Wow, I didn't die. Damn, I'm surprised. Ha! I am the winner. Yeah, it just looks a bit janky. Wait, so if the shrine's over there, I might as well... That wouldn't work. Yes, yeah, sod it. Back up, here we go. Oh, because I wanted to get a fucking... Dinral's horn, but didn't even need the bloody thing. I just figured, oh, I might as well. <laughs> so stupid. I know, your valley scale is helpful. It just wasn't helpful in this case. I've used it quite a bit, to be honest. <clears throat> Oops. And I'm freezing me out of. Lovely! Oh, Star Fragment. Ah, great. <laughs> Quickly, get out of the cold! It doesn't actually hurt you that often, surprisingly. Come on, I want the temperature to just start improving. Oh, oh, oh. It'll probably improve once I've lost my temporary hearts. And, yep, there we go. <laughs> Literally just lost my temporary hearts and instantly started to warm up. Brilliant. There we go. Blood Moon! Oh, I wonder if I can do this to kind of uh, stave off the Blood Moon. So I'm pretty sure when you go into a shrine it, like, time continues to progress. I need to be quick though. Let's see. Oops. Screw you, Blood Moon! I don't actually know if that is the case, it's just... It's the way it seemed previously, because there was one when... It was a Blood Moon, I went into a shrine, and then when I came out, the Blood Moon had gone away. At least, at least I think that's what happened. I honestly don't remember. Oh. Shiragoma. Aim for stillness. There's a treasure chest nearby. It's probably behind all of those... rocks. Oh dear. Whoa. Oh, maybe not. Whoosh. Oh, this is cool. Whoosh. Oh, I did that way too early. Whoops. Why don't you just shoot it? Looks like it'd make more sense. Yeah! Oh my god. There's the chest. Oh. Oh. Yeah, bitch. Let's try. Bomb arrows. That shuts it, does it not? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Right, okay. Oh, wait, it only does it for... Yeah, hang on. Of course. Oh, God. 
There we go. Sheesh. The wind would knock it off course. Really? I don't think so. I mean, just looking at this, it seems to fly wherever I shoot it. I think it's using a remote bomb is actually just the intended way of doing it, but you could use a bomb arrow if you so choose. This one was easy. Nice. There we go. All chests. So that's this one done. So all that's left is... Var Meadow again. Or, more so, Wind Blight Ganon again. Hey Crazy Bob, how's it going? We must go to Divine Beast Var Meadow. Skip! Finally! Burning things! Oh, I like how it's still giving me tips. I find it weird how my, my Shrine Counter is still at 120 when I've actually done 124. Because I got four more spirit orbs for, from all of the shrines on the Great Plateau. Which is rather strange. Uh, that's not true, because there is no order in which you do these. In terms of the memories, Ravalis is first, but luckily the game allows you to replay them. I don't think any of them are intended to do, be done first, because as soon as you go to whichever one you choose, it gives you the same message. Which acts as like a tutorial for all of them. Kind of, kind of the same as when you go into a Divine Beast, they give you all of the, you need to find a map of this place. It's like those glowing points, those are terminals. Oh shit. Unless you mean because Ravalis are incredibly easy. Uh, what am I doing? And cutscene. <laughs> the one who approaches this divine beast. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. <laughs> Yay! In exchange for Meadow's emblems, you'll be granted the chance to tread through the realms of memories. <laughs> Sorry, I can't really alter how quickly I speak. But it might be because... <laughs> you're Russian. I do apologize that you can't understand me, because I talk too quick. No, I don't think that's the case. Because some people might find Ravalis incredibly hard, other people might find, like, you know, um, Naboris is, you know, piss easy. I mean, to be fair, Naboris is were piss easy because I had the rubber suit. <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily say that any of them are particularly hard. The hardest ones were the ones that were on the Great Plateau, and that's because you had a quarter of a heart. Okay, we do have a sword. We have a feathered edge. Thought we would. Illusory Realm was created from the manifestation of your fears. Blah 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 blah. I was about to say, where the bloody hell is he? Wait, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do that. I have a hundred... hundred fucking arrows. That's impressive. So... That doesn't actually do as much as I thought it would. So how many... I have bomb arrows too. Mm. Oh, I'm really cold. Oh, because of... Oh, shit. Oh, well, it's because of my mod. Oh, well. Because it's not a fully upgraded set, I guess. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. A bit of an oversight from the creator of the mod, I suppose. Jesus Christ.
I was hoping that would knock him over. Right. Halfway point. Halfway point. Uh, it's not doing its like usual cutscene. Baloney. Oh, now it does. Okay. I was going to say, what the heck? On the plus side, I do have Mephis Grace, so if I die, it's fine. It's just a shame that I have to worry about the cold. Which wouldn't be the case if in vanilla. Nope. Oh yeah. Oh! Well, that's all of our boss's fury. Oops. God, this guy, he likes to go about the place. Like, 90% of what he's doing is just appearing, then disappearing. Oh, look at all those turrets. I don't even know he did that attack. What the hell? Oh no. I have to worry about the cold, I can't believe it. It's like I'm back in the beginning of the game again. Nope. There we go. Easy. Yeah, they definitely give you an ample supply of arrows. That's for sure. And there it is. Another one down. But to be fair, the, the order I did them was the order I initially did them. That was what made me choose. I didn't really care about what the actual order was. Because I, I'll just... I think next session, at the start of next session, I'll just watch all of the memories. I was going to do it before I started the Champions Ballad, but then I noticed that all of the Champions memories were before all of the ones you pick up. So I'm assuming they'll probably link together. So it made more sense to just get them all and then watch them all at another point. And there's Cass. You should have actually uncovered the song by now. Oh. Are you still adrift in thought? You seem lost to the whims of your mind. Oh, pardon me. I suppose it's none of my business. Ah, wandering around here and listening to the anec to anecdotes about Champion Ravalli has truly invigorated me. Mm. In fact, it has inspired me to honour him in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. That is why I felt inclined to roost here near the Divine Beast of our meadow, which Ravalli himself mastered. Also, his dialogue for each and every one of the Divine Beasts is the exact same. Mm. It just changes the name of the Champion and Divine Beast. I've written a song to try and capture the... something. Recall Meadow's Champion of Flight. Before he fell to his fateful plight. Ravali's feet was a wonder to see. So the princess made her plea. Memory! I was going to say, is she properly outfitted? Oh, it's the flight range! What the hell? Oh, he's... Oh my! Uh, no. Next stream is watching the memories and completing the game. But for the world will finally be coming to a close. All I've got left is Hyrule Castle. I've done everything else. All the side quests, all the shrines, all the chests. Stay in the eye of the whirlwind. Must push myself harder. Jesus. You know, your highness, it's rude to eavesdrop. My 
apologies. I went to the village and I was told I could find you here. You have need of me to defeat Calamity Ganon. To slay the beast once and for all. It will be my great pleasure. Thank you, Rivali. If we work together, I'm certain we'll be able to defeat... However! Yeah. Oh. Holy crap. He did. But he still wasn't better than Link. play the biggest part in helping that <clears throat> that little knight with the darkness ceiling sword correct well if he loses his confidence after seeing me in action don't come crying to me time stops for link so uh tone the cockiness down Ravali my goodness mm. hmm it seems Rito champion was not one to share his feelings so, what do you think of Champion Ravali's song? By writing a song that highlights the hidden feelings of Champion Ravali, I feel close, closer than ever to my dear teacher. Oh. Missing verses of an ancient song, I think the perfect setting would be Hyrule Castle in the Distant Past. I truly never imagined you would do so well. Regardless, Ravali's gale should be more efficient than ever. Yep, it recharges in two minutes now. Now when I'm inside As Hyrule Castle, are, oh. I guess it's theoretically possible for you to best Ganon. There we go. But in, inside Hyrule Castle, Ravali scale uh, recharges in 40 seconds. There it is. Woohoo! That's all of them. Now we need.